This content will show you how to set up the DA3000 for hammering test. This is the setting procedure. One, connection of sensor and hardware. The following items are used for this measurement. Accelerometer NP3211 Impulse Hammer GK3100 FFT Analyzer DA3000 Personal Computer Aluminum Board to be measured Shock Absorbing Material In here, Connect the impulse hammer to channel 1 and the accelerometer to channel 2. The accelerometer is set on the aluminum board to be measured. Do Input setting Select Input setting from the menu. Open the input screen and place a check mark on CCLD for channel 1 and channel 2. Setting the CCLD on will supply power to the sensor. Hit the aluminum board and make sure that signal is detected. 3. Unit Calibration Select Unit and Calibration setting from the menu. Open Unit and Calibration setting dialog and put check marks for channels 1 and 2. Set the unit to Newton for channel 1 and meter per sec squared for channel 2. For the EU values, refer to the voltage sensitivity described in the calibration chart from each sensor. In this case, channel 1 is set to 2.36 and channel 2 is set to 1.068. 4. Voltage range Click up and down buttons on the level range monitor and set the voltage range. Adjust it by hitting the aluminum board with the hammer not to exceed the range. If the column lights up red, the input signal is too large for the set voltage range. This is called over range. In such case, Reduce the hammer hitting force or increase the voltage range. In this case, the input signal is too small for the voltage. So increase the hammer hitting force or reduce the voltage range. can see an appropriate voltage range is set. Five, frequency range and sampling points. From the toolbar, set the frequency range. In here, we are going to set it to two kilohertz. Next, set the number of sampling points. We are going to set it to 2048 points. Six, window function setting. Select 
Window Function Setting from the menu. This time, it's a single shot signal. So select Rectangular for both Channel 1 and Channel 2. 7. Trigger Condition Setting Select Trigger Condition Setting from the menu. Open Internal Trigger Setting and set the detection level and trigger position. Hit the aluminum board with the hammer and make sure it is triggered. 8. Averaging Setting From the toolbar, set the averaging mode to Power Sum and set the averaging condition to count. Here, set the averaging count to 3. 9. Start the hammering measurement. Now, let's get started. Press the button for Trigger, Average, Start in order. The trigger will be in wait state. Hit the aluminum board with the hammer. Then you can see the waveform by trigger function. After the set number of heating times, the average frequency and response function will be displayed. The measurement is completed.